Rachel. Today I'm going to be watering all my succulents. I have quite a few succulents in quite a few windows and so I'm going to take you through how I water them all. Uh, one of them is budding and one of them has been blooming and if you saw my video on how I water my houseplants last week you'll see you'll have seen that my um, aloe vera hybrid has already bloomed and it's beautiful and I love it but Today, I have to show you some air plants that I have that I got for $2 each and one of them looks like it's going to have a bloom already. So anyways, what I do to water my succulents is I just use a, you know, a pitcher of water that I have put in a dosage of fertilizer. I use Espelman's Organic right now because that's what I got and it works it seems to work so my husband um, asked me he's like are you using some of the aquaponics water I go no this is the stuff you got me and he's just like oh so I mean it must be good stuff because the water from our aquaponics seems to work pretty good and if it smells kind of like that maybe it's pretty good <laughs> I don't know but it seems to be working well at least and um, you know, my nothing seems any worse for the water. I mean, everything seems about as fine as always. So um, I just want them to, of course, just be happy and have enough nutrients. And so I use that. Um, not every time I water, just depending on the season. Right now I'm watering every two to three weeks, depending on the succulents. Some succulents I water once a week or sometimes even twice a week. So like my string of pearls needs a lot more water and some of my aloe veras like to have a little bit more water. Um, whereas other ones, you know, they like to go a lot longer without having water. So, you know, I'll just take you through and show you what I do. Um, sometimes I'll use a syringe to water some of them, um, but you, most of them I'm going to be using my pitcher. So let's go. Okay. so. I'm just going to show you how I shake this up. I just do it like that, I think, because then you tip it upside down. And that like fills it or something. This stuff is really interesting. And then you just pour it like that and see how it stops. That's like a whole dose. When I first was doing that, it kind of scared me because I just thought I was pouring out a whole bunch, but it just pours out one dose and it's kind of nice, I guess, because then you don't have to worry about how much you put in there. And um. So you can see it's pretty dark already and I'm going to just go put, this has some water in it already, but I'm going to go fill it up the rest of the way and then water my plants. I have one of these syringes that for some of my plants I use and so I just put it in this water and then I just fill it up. And then I just take it around with me. I usually have this one in one hand and this one in the other hand, but today we're going to have to improvise because I'm carrying around this camera, but I got my tripod this time. so. Hopefully this will be much better. Maybe I can carry it like this. Like this. There we go. And so over in this window I have quite a few succulents. Um, I have a hybrid aloe vera over here. And um, I don't know if you can see these in the video. I have this. And, um, this one, this is my son's that he did, and there's some new growth coming out on it. So this that hasn't been, it just hasn't been happy this last month. It was totally fine until then, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my syringe on this. And this does not have any drainage, so I like to use a syringe for this just because that way I'm getting the water a little bit more pinpointed on where I need it to go. And that way I'm not overwatering everything. I also use a syringe for my spoon jade just because this is a really little pot and it gets it over there easier. And then I just kind of go around and water them. Put this one a touch more. And then I just give these. Like this one is in an enclosed pot, it doesn't have any drainage, so I just give it just a touch. 
And give this one just a touch. And then this, my aloe, I give a little bit more. Oh, this one has a baby. Oh. And then I just turn everything. And those two I rotate like every couple of weeks. Over here I have my string of pearls. Just give it some. Over in this window I have a couple of African stick plants and or pencil cactus, whatever. And this one isn't in an enclosed pot, so I give it barely any. These are all kind of like my starts. I give my aloes just a little bit more water than most other ones. So in this window, well on this side of this big window, um, I have my old cactus that still makes babies all the time. He might be old, but he's still good at making babies. <laughs> and then this aloe. I think this aloe really actually likes the fertilizer because it's been growing a lot since I've been giving it fertilizer. There. Oh, and a little update on our aquaponics things that my cat killed like everything. I mean, this is something that I have to do um, multiple times a day. Ugh. Usually, let's bring this back up to be more level. And, oh, shoot. Anyways, so on an update on these, this that came from my angel wing begonia that's over in the kitchen where my first succulents were that I showed you. Um, this has made so many babies. Oh my goodness. Well, not really babies, but so many leaves. And these were just like dead branches, basically, after the cat killed them. And um, the bamboo is just trucking along. And he doesn't mess with this plant because he doesn't sit on the bamboo. He just eats it. So this one's okay. Right here, though, he loves to sit. And so... Anyways, and last time we had Samosas in a basket there, and he just took it out, pulled it out with his teeth, and was like, no, this is not happening. So, unfortunately, we can't use that one right now, but this one is just awesome. I am so happy that I got some stars from that angel wing begonia. I'm so happy that that angel wing begonia is doing a lot better now, too, since I trimmed it all up, and it just looks better. <laughs> But I'm really excited to have some more of those around my house because I love them. Over here, I have my pencil cactus. And that doesn't need to be watered right now, actually. Um, I don't know if any of these need to be watered over here. They all kind of look okay. Maybe this Thanksgiving cactus back here needs a little bit. But the Christmas cactus is still fine. Yeah. And... Is this a Kalanchoe, Kalancho, whatever? I think that's what this is. I don't know. Anyways, it's kind of succulent-ish, sort of, or something, so I just kind of water it with my succulents. I don't know. It's kind of one of those plants that it doesn't need water that often, and so I just kind of water it whenever. So it usually gets water with my succulents anyways, and I'm pretty sure it's a succulent. I mean, it looks like it. <laughs> okay, so before I forget, these are some of my new um, plants. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. This one is just crazy looking. I don't know what to think about it. It's a little different. And then this one and this one are both the same. I can't remember what variety they are, but I do have them all listed on the picture of them all on Instagram. See this though? I think that is getting ready to bloom or flower, whatever. Look at that. It was such a fuzzy texture. I got this at Sprouts and they said that they were flowering. So I was kind of like, well, yeah, air plants flower, but since they say that they're flowering, so are they gonna flower soon? And I saw one that looked like it had already flowered. So I made sure not to get that one because I'm like, I don't want that one because it's gonna die soon. Cause what they do is they flower and they, and they make babies and then you have babies from there and then they will die you know, not long after, you know, some amount of time after that. I don't know how long, but this is so exciting. I mean, I just got this and it's going to bloom. I mean, it's just pretty crazy awesome. 
And it's such a cool air plant too. I love it. I also got this air plant and this air plant. This one is a little bit different than what you see just in there. Isn't it cool? Just have it sitting in there kind of for Easter, I guess. I don't know. Up with all my extra kind of dishes and stuff, I have another one of those. So this is the same one that was in the A cup. So anyways, they're so cool. Like, don't you just love it when you find something that's so awesome, like air plants, and they're a really good price so you can get a whole bunch of them, and you still didn't pay that much money, and you're just like, this is so cool, and then you're happy, and you get happy plants for a long time. That just, just brings so much joy and wonderfulness into your house. That's why I love plants, you guys. So back to watering my succulents. These are the last of my succulents that I have, and this one so I'm glad that it blooms for a while that the blooms kind of go up kind of like delphiniums um, which is pretty cool see how pretty those are just the green inside there you can see the pollen it's just so beautiful on this cactus hybrid not cactus hybrid aloe hybrid and then this one of course with all the little babies and um, this one I don't know what kind it was. This one was $2 at Walmart that I got just after my birthday in February, at the beginning of February, and it has all these little buds on it. And my aunt has one like this that's already bloomed and it's beautiful and I'm so, so happy and I still need to take off this thing. Like why they have to put those on them, I don't know, but anyways, so. None of these are actually in draining pots, but somehow I managed to water them just enough and not too much. Part of the reason why this one I can, this one kind of takes a lot more water than my other ones. Not always, but see this one drained really fast already, which is in fast draining soil, but um, it'll be good for probably another two or three weeks. And this one is in a little tiny pot and I water it a little bit more often just because it has babies and I want my babies to be really happy <laughs> and I should probably actually take them out and put them in something else soon so that way they don't root down in there too far and make it more difficult to take them out but I'm very pleased with how I just you know took two leaves off of this that you know, were kind of wonky on there and just stuck them next to it and it made babies. I mean, how awesome, you guys. Succulents are so rewarding when they actually work. And I mean, this one made babies without even trying. It's so cool. Well, you guys, that's all I've got for today's plant show thing. <laughs> I have quite a few succulents, but I don't have like as many as I have houseplants. So it definitely takes a lot less time to water those than it does all my house plants and there's just you know succulents are so cool i used to not be able to grow succulents very well and um i mean my my old cactus that i've had that was my first cactus or succulent that i've ever had and i still have him but it took me a few years to grow any others after him for whatever reason they're just you know getting down being the amount of water that you know that they want and just I don't know, being able to understand your succulents can sometimes take a while. So if you're not getting it yet, keep trying, keep going and getting the discount ones. I mean, I still buy the discount ones because I have a problem and I need to not spend too much money on my problem. <laughs> but plant hoarding, I think, is the only kind of hoarding that's not really hoarding because it's not, it doesn't get gross, you know what I mean? Because if you have too much stuff, or you have too many animals, or whatever, it can get gross. You know, I mean, we've, we've all seen the shows, right? But plants just bring so much life and energy into your environment, and they filter the air, and they're just so wonderful. So, anyways, if you've been trying to grow succulents for a long time, and you keep failing, just keep trying. Watch more videos. Other people know so much more than I do, and they can give you so much advice and so much help. So just keep searching and praying and hoping and then one day you'll get 
to be a good succulent mama. <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> Anyways, just <laughs> make sure you use the right kind of soil. Not all succulents need special soil, but most do. Um, and they like to have drainage. You saw that a lot of my pots don't necessarily have drainage because I'm a slacker sometimes and I just put them in a pot that doesn't have drainage, but um, I make sure not to water those too much and if I did give them too much water then I let them go a while. Also, most of them are up higher where it's harder for my son to water them and my son loves to water all my houseplants. So, with, this is a very good thing because they're up high and so he can't reach them very well so he doesn't water them. So they're reliant on only me and um, they do a lot better just not messing with them too much, I notice. But I mean everyone can keep a succulent alive even if you just keep it in its nursery pot for a while before you, if you don't have any drainage pots you can put them, keep them in their nursery pot for a while. and. So you can kind of figure it out before you transplant it into a different pot. That might help you. I don't know. Anyways, have fun you guys and good luck. <laughs> oh, also, if you want to help me out by subscribing, if you like my videos, that would be amazing because um, I've been uploading videos a lot more because I really enjoy uploading videos. My I'm, I'm down to using my phone now because both of my cameras broke. Um, my tripods are special, but I can still get them to work. But I have, I, I rely on the lighting from nature and inside stuff. So that's why sometimes I, like I do this in my bathroom sometimes, or sometimes in my upstairs bathroom because there's nice, better kind of, I can control the lighting a little bit more sometimes. But if you want to help me out so that way my quality goes up and you like my videos a lot, then please do subscribe. That will help me so much because then I can get monetized again because YouTube changed things to where I have to have more subscribers before I can get monetized. And I was getting to where I was so, so close to being able to get my check so that way I can get some decent lighting because I really, that's what I want to do first is get some better lighting. But anyways. If you want to help me subscribe that'd be great and please do leave a comment below on what your favorite succulent is or if you have any questions about any of my, any of my plants that you saw um, feel free to ask me or if you just have a positive comment then please do share thank you guys have a really great week bye